Welcome to Succeed Even If. I'm Tom Marku. And I'm Johanna McLeod. This episode is about succeed even if you're burning out. Joanna, I have a question for you. When was the time that you were burning out? I remember working on an online course and it was just taking forever. And then on top of it, I found out my cat has diabetes. So I have to check my cat's glucose levels and give him insulin every day. So it sounds like you're tired mm -hmm. because of all the work mm -hmm. and the work seems endless. Plus, you're emotionally twisted up because you're having to give insulin shots to your cat. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine that that has to hurt you because you don't want to hurt your little furry friend. I love him to pieces, but, you know, he's my baby and I need to take care of him to preserve his life. Right. That's like being squeezed. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about how to deal with burnout. Oh, okay. It's going to center around three words, which may seem a little unusual. Find freedom every day. Mm. I'll share that again. Find freedom every day. Now, I am acknowledging that many of us live in certain kind of boxes. If you want a long-term romantic relationship, you do take into account the other person's feelings, the other person's schedule. Mm -hmm. So that kind of puts some type of constraints on your decisions mm -hmm. because you are wanting to nurture yourself and to nurture the relationship and to nurture the other person. At least we hope so. Or get out. <laughs> <laughs> the idea here is that there is freedom. I used to say that a really good romantic relationship is discovering freedom through commitment. Mm, interesting concept, Tom. Thank you. The idea is that only through having a commitment in that relationship can you have the ability to feel totally connected and nurtured and loving. In fact, it has been said by a number of authors that a relationship is where you go to give, not just the idea of getting something. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity to give patience and kindness and compassion and, and patience love. Patience and patience and patience and patience. True. <laughs> so the idea is how can we find freedom every day when we feel constraints by work, by perhaps you have two types of work. You have the work to bring in the money for the rent. And at the same time, you are developing your own side business and at the same time, there could be children, there's a romantic partner, there are friends, there are community obligations, whatever you got going. Mm -hmm. How are you going to find freedom every day? The concept I am sharing here is that you use three elements and we can look at it by the word ask. Every letter is going to stand for an element of how you find freedom every day. Mm. So the first thing, A, stands for acknowledge the pressure and transform your story. I'll show that again. Acknowledge the pressure and transform your story. Some people wear it like a martyr's badge to say, oh, I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. How do they feel when they say that? They feel pressed. They feel oppressed. They feel they have nowhere to go. I learned something that was very powerful. Richard Carlson, the author of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, when he was still alive and well on the mm -hmm. planet, he shared this idea with me that even if you were booked to be in two different cities on one day and then another city and another city and another city that you only go into each moment one at a time. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, oh, I'm so busy, I have to be in six places in two days, but you're only going to be in one place one time, one mm -hmm. after another. And Richard Step Carl by step. Exactly. It's how you tell the story mm -hmm. that affects your experience of it. Mm. So if you tell the story, yes, I have a vigorous schedule. I'm going to be doing one thing after another, but I'm also going to make sure that I take a 10 minute walk before I get on the next plane mm -hmm. or something like that. I'm going to be in that city and I'm going to just take a half an hour and go to, if you're really into art, I'm going to go to this particular art museum for a half an hour. Mm -hmm. Sounds like moments of sanity. Exactly. And that's how we find freedom every day. Moments of sanity. Well mm -hmm. done. Thank you, Joanna. And that's the first thing. You acknowledge the pressure. You say, okay, these are things one after another, but at the same time, you change your story. You don't say, I'm so busy, or it, life is so tough, or it is vigorous. Mm -hmm. I remember a story that came up long ago. There was a top speaker, and someone on his team had stolen three quarters of a million dollars from him. Mm. And he 
was running around saying, I am so angry. But his accounting type team member who was looking at this didn't look freaked out. Mm. And so the speaker said, what, what, what's going on with you? Doesn't this make you angry? And the guy said, well, I am peeved. <laughs> peeved? <laughs> peeved? You see what I mean? So even the word peeved is such a weird word. Mm -hmm. And it's not, I am furious. So it's the story you tell. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed. I'm looking for a way to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking if something else that's really tough happens. I'm looking for a way to spend part of this day grieving mm -hmm. and then doing something about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find some freedom today. Even that's only five minutes of listening to particular music. Mm. I have a playlist with iTunes where it's great music, no lyrics. And that's important because if I'm writing or I'm doing something or if I just want to chill, no words mm -hmm. is important to have me step away. Some of the best music or best songs are really sad if you listen to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. They knock you down, yes. but that's why they hit us in the heart. Mm -hmm. So that's why great music with no lyrics can sometimes be very helpful because you find your freedom in listening to that music. Mm -hmm. I have this particular music that I listen to all the time before I start something. This is music that really helps me chill out and mm. I'm really glad for it. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking about ask. You have to ask yourself about these details so that you can succeed even if you feel burned out. Mm -hmm. So S is seek intrinsic value. Seek intrinsic value. Here's the point. There are certain things that we can do just for 10 minutes that we get value just from the thing, not having to get some kind of external reward. Mm -hmm. So intrinsic value, some theorists talk about intrinsic value, including these elements, challenge, curiosity, mm -hmm. cooperation, mm -hmm. fantasy, for all you video gamers, all right? <laughs> Competition, for all you video gamers. <laughs> anyway, and recognition. So if you do activities that connect with intrinsic value, that you get value just by doing the activity, that's find your freedom every day. Mm -hmm. One thing that is very simple, but I get intrinsic value from it, is to listen to great music while I'm assembling an analog <laughs> jigsaw puzzle. I'm actually assembling physically. And that, this gets me away from the laptop, the keyboard. Mm -hmm. This gets me away from screens. Uh -huh. And I'm listening to music and I'm able to chill out. I'm doing something different. And besides, I'm also an art director for many projects. I'm connecting as I assemble the puzzle with such great painting artistry. Mm -hmm. The shading, the colors, the combination, the way the sky looks. Mm -hmm. I admit it. I assemble sometimes Thomas Kincaid puzzles because he is known as the painter of light. Mm, he does do some really wonderful things with light. Exactly. And and now in his tradition, it's a brand now, mm -hmm. so that there are a bunch of artists who carry on his tradition, the Thomas Kincaid brand. Mm -hmm. So having these few moments of freedom, remember, find freedom every day. I'm able to do something that's intrinsically valuable. Now we get to K. Keep in self-care. Mm. This is absolutely crucial. So at one point, I was really moving fast. We were finishing two online courses. I was working on four books. Mm -hmm. One is a trilogy of novels. And having to have the right energy when I go visit my elderly mother, mm. who is apparently in the last chapter of her life. Oh, no. And so the idea is that I have to keep in the self-care. There's an old phrase that many meditation people say, if you don't have time for 20 minutes of meditation, then you must do an hour's worth of meditation. Oh, wow. It means that you are so stressed, you have to double your self-care. Uh -huh. So that's the idea. Keep in the self-care. After we record this program, I'm likely to go take a 10-minute walk because no matter how busy I am, I have to keep in the self-care. Mm -hmm. This looks like a good time for a Marku moment. That's when I share an excerpt from one of 48 books up on Amazon. The book title is Shape the Future, Lead Like a Pro. And the subtitle is Three Skills Every Great Leader Needs to Succeed. Mm, sounds like a winner to me. Yes, and there's also a note that this relates to authentic leadership. Mm -hmm. So our excerpt begins with page 7. Mm. I emphasized our best investments are in our own skills and into the people we're talking to. I break down ROI as relate, optimize, and intuit. 
So on this page, I'm talking about what I call the ROI leader. Mm. And I'm saying that it's not just return on investment, but what it really is, is relate, optimize, and intuit. So on the next page, eight, we have a quote here from Dan Burris, who's a futurist. And he says, be the disruptor, not the disrupted. These pages are focused on the idea that when you learn how to relate better to team members, to yourself, to board of directors, to customers, clients, all that kind of stuff, when you learn to relate better, then you're becoming a better leader. You learn how to optimize your resources and how to optimize how people do processes. You're a better leader. Mm -hmm. And finally, really connecting with your intuition, that makes you an exceptional leader. So this book, Shape the Future, Lead Like a Pro, subtitle, Three Skills Every Leader Needs to Succeed, really helps the reader connect with what it takes so that you're not just pushing people, but you're actually connecting with them. Mm -hmm. And as mm -hmm. a terrific team, where team members empower each other, you're able to do extraordinary things. So that's the close of the excerpt for this book, Shape the Future, Lead Like a Pro. Joanna, I'm curious, what do you want to keep from our conversation? Well, I think the biggest thing that I need from this is self-care. I'm with you. The K of ask was keep in self-care. Mm -hmm. So when you see that you're burning out, you can't give in to the temptation to say, no, I just have to stay up all night. No, I don't have time to sleep. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have time to take a walk. No, I don't have time to call up my friend for seven minutes and have a nice little chat and feel supported mm -hmm. and loved. You got to keep in self-care. And you need self-care where you can do it by yourself. And you know, tonight, before the day is over. You're going to be doing puzzle. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Tom. This broadcast is brought to you by Tom's online course at Udemy.com. Yes, I'm excited about my online course. It's called Success Secrets, Confidence and Skills to Handle Toxic People. It's available at a special discount price at Udemy.com. That's U-D-E-M-Y.com. And you just type in my name, Tom Marcou, T-O-M-M-A-R-C-O-U-X. And you add the words, Success Secrets, and you'll find the course. Thank you. Click to subscribe to this channel. And then you'll be supporting Johanna, me, and our message. Tom helps people in other ways. As a spoken word strategist and executive coach, I help people really connect and get yes. I help them with their speeches, pitches, video marketing, and networking, and I help them prepare for that crucial life-changing meeting. As you're ready to go to the next step, see special videos, find out about my books and coaching at getthebigyes.com forward slash next step. And so remember, perform at your best with words, strategy, and rehearsal for your success.